Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video we are going to be testing out the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. I recently purchased this at Walgreens. I believe it was $16.99, which to me is a lot for a drugstore foundation. And another notable fact is that this is 0.51 ounces. The traditional um, foundation bottle is one ounce. So not only is it like the most expensive drugstore foundation that I could find at Walgreens last night, it is also only half the size. Wah, wah. There are other foundations similar to this. I know Lancome makes one, and I think Physicians Formula may make one similar. Um, but the basic concept is that it is not a liquid, it is not a powder, it's not really a cream. It's like they took the liquid and they put it into a compact. So this would be better for um, traveling, taking with you in, on the go in your purse for touch-ups. I do have it on today. This is like the five-hour touch-up, so don't judge it as it looks right now. We will get into the demo, but I just wanted to tell you where you can purchase it, how much it costs, and um, my general opinions of it. So I got the shade N3.5. I do have the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation, two different foundations. I have had shades like N2, W3, N3, W2, I mean I've tried kind of in that family. I ended up getting this in N3.5, so it's got a neutral undertone and it's a little deeper than what I normally buy. They didn't have the shade one below this and I thought, oh I'll just try that. Well, I do think it's a little too yellow, a little too dark. So if you tend to be a person who runs slightly cool, but you end up buying neutral foundations most of the time, get the cool one because I think this one runs slightly yellow. But, um, so basically you open it up, and then inside you have the sponge. I did use it today, so that's why it looks like this. And you put your fingers through the little loop, and then you have your sponge. And this is just like the home for the sponge, so you could clean that. And then you open up this door looking thing, and inside you have a sponge that is saturated with the product. And I hear that you run through this rather quickly, and then when this seems like it's not coming up with anything, when you press the, the sponge into it, all you have to do is dig your hands in there, get a little messy, and flip this cushion over. So that's the basics for how you do it. You're supposed to apply it with the sponge and press it in. I did do two passes with what you're seeing here. So this is kind of what the, bl the buildable the buildable level would be. Um, it says, True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation Buildable Luminous. So it's supposed to be liquid, supposed to be buildable. I did two layers to get this medium coverage, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and get into the demo. And you're going to apply primer to half of my face and not to the other half. The primer I'm using is the YSL Touche Clot Blurring Primer, and I'm only going to use it to the one half. I do have several breakouts right now, so um, it will have its hands full. Only primed this half of my face. I did apply my eye cream and moisturizer to the other half, too. But Okay, so L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. This is N3.5 Buildable Luminous Coverage. comes with a sponge. And when you open the clamshell, there we go. So I'm just now removing the film for the first time. I'm going to apply it with the sponge they gave you. And I'm going to do both sides the same. So the sponge is clean right now. Pushing into it. Sponge is saturated. So I'm going to press it into the face. Okay, I think this looks like it's sheer coverage. So I'm just going to do, I just pressed again one more time. Um, I'm just going to do one pass around my face first to judge the coverage on its own as far as like the lightest application you could get. And then I'm going to do it one more time around the face to see if it's buildable. I mean the claims specifically say it is buildable so we hope. I do love the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Liquid Foundation. But I have never tried a cushion foundation like this before. So this is one go at it. One pass at the foundation. Obviously I'm going to do concealer so I didn't bother. Um, I can still see a lot of stuff through it and I do think it's too dark. You can see my neck is a lot lighter. But I'll smear it down there. I wouldn't return it for it being this dark because I can wear it in the summer probably. I just might have to wait a couple months. Okay, so that was one pass. Here I go with the second pass. 
to add another layer. I'm trying to decide if I like the slow, like pushing, or if I prefer the fast tapping. This pad thing doesn't want to stay on my fingers. I think the next time I try this out, I'll use a brush or a beauty blender. All right, what is the verdict? I think it is medium coverage. Um, I would not call it full. I mean, someone with perfect skin might, but I can still see like the redness on my nose, and it took a long time to apply. So I am going to um, try to blend this into my neck a little bit. I finished the rest of my makeup, just a real natural Saturday, just going to a movie with my husband. So this is what the foundation looks like. I did not powder anywhere except my under eye concealer. So there's no powder in my T-zone and I did very little highlighting as to what I normally do. So I don't want you to think I look oily when I'm not. So the only highlighter I have on is right here. That's it. The rest of my face, no highlight, just so you guys could see. And I did an extreme contour or anything. Um, I think it looks okay. I would like to spot conceal a little more. And uh, that's just a personal preference. I prefer full coverage. But I'm going to go about my day and I'll be back in a little bit to check in with you guys. It's been about five hours. So the foundation is still present. Clearly I'm still wearing foundation, but I can definitely see my skin through it. Um... I can see all my little freckles around here through the foundation. And I know I covered them initially because I like made a point to do that. So that's kind of how I'm feeling. Um, I've had better with acne coverage. I do think that it's too dark for me. And I would say it's N3.5. I would say that um, maybe the N runs a little warm, a little yellow. So if you have really um, neutral undertones but you lean kind of pink I would definitely get the pinky undertone cool undertone um, shade because I run slightly yellow and I chose a neutral shade and I think I look yellow I don't know maybe it's just me so anyway this is the foundation I'm gonna get really close so you can see like right around the sides of my nose I do have a pimple right here so ignore that but I want you to see kinda how the foundation is um, kinda bunching up there and the coverage when I get close up but I did want to point out that um, that the skin looks like skin. It doesn't look like cake face. Like, it's not too luminous. I still have my highlighter, but if you look, the rest of my face doesn't look too shiny. I do have normal to dry skin, sometimes combo, but mostly normal right now. I'm not experiencing any major dry patches or any oiliness at all. check back in in a little bit and we will see how it's holding up all right guys it has been eight hours the coverage is slowly disappearing like around my chin all right so that is the foundation after eight hours I'll be back one more time before bed to check in and we will summarize Alright guys, it has been like 10 or 11 hours. Um, I would say this foundation did not hold up too well. Um, I have a lot of more long wearing foundations than this one. I can definitely see through my skin, around my nose, around my chin, and then right away actually I could see the um, freckles and stuff coming through my skin. Did weird things around my nostril. So overall, I'm not that impressed. I'm definitely considering returning this foundation. It's medium coverage. If you're into that, that's great. Um, I didn't get super shiny, but then again, I don't have oily skin. I'm just kind of moving with the light, so maybe you can see if you have any, if you catch any oil. But I don't think I'm oily at all. I just know that like this foundation comes off. Like when I do this, I can see exactly on my finger where I touch my nose. You know what I mean? So for me, this would not be good if you have oily skin at all. Dry skin, it would love it, especially if you don't need a lot of coverage. So let me know if you guys have tried this foundation. 
And if you're looking for a foundation that might be a little bit better, would maybe be the L'Oreal True Match Lumi, the liquid foundation without the cushion. I think it's a little bit cheaper and easier to apply. The cushion thing just kind of took a lot of time. And I had to build it up and do two layers. So, hope you guys enjoyed this review and found it helpful and maybe deter you from buying it if you have oily skin or encourage you to buy it if you have dry skin. Thanks for watching. Bye.